Hi, Quadcopter 101 here. Um, I did a demo recently of my G-Tang T909 uh, Artifact watch. Uh, I flew I flew my H501S from Hubson, and I showed how uh, that this particular monitor watch comes in handy. Now, you're not going to be able to fly FPV with this monitor watch. You know, what I mean by FPV, using the watch to control the quadcopter, maintain visual control, uh, via the screen. It's just too small to be flying, you know, doing true FPV flying. Where this comes in handy and what it's designed for is to help you aim the camera. For camera quads with FPV capability, you can use this to make sure that you're in the center of the picture, if that you're the subject, or whatever your uh, video subject will be, to make sure that it's in the center of the screen. Um, that's where this comes in handy. It's a neat little monitor. Um, it includes an aerial. If you want to use the aerial, you, you pull it out like so. But um, it works just as well. I, actually, that aerial works just as well plugged into the back or plugged into the watch itself. So, you know, only consider pulling it out if the aerial out if, uh, you, you know, you're having bad reception. Now, to operate the watch, it has an on-off switch, which you, actually, this is the on-off switch, which you activate by holding it down for two to three seconds until it comes on. Now, to know which frequency you're on, if you look here, it lists the bands on the left, A, it's both scan bands A, B, E, and F, and then both scan frequencies per band from 1 through 8. Right now I am on uh, band D in frequency 1, and we can cycle through them to try to find reception. I have an FPV uh, transmitter on right now from my... W, WL Toys Q303, which I just flew this morning, and obviously its frequency is not on band D, so I went through all, you know, I cycled through all frequencies and could not find a uh, reception from it, so now I'm going to band E by holding that button down for one second, and then er, cycling through the frequencies on band E, two, three, and four, and there we go. We have reception on band, or er, uh, band E frequency four. And also you can see the um, on-screen display information that comes from the Q303. It tells you that you've got an HD camera, and the camera's not recording right now on the Q303. And I have an old-fashioned television <laughs> uh, monitor. Uh, what I, I forgot what you called these things. You've seen these back in the 60s, in the early days of television. That was around back then, so I remember them. Uh, anyways, uh, that's the Q, uh, G10... Um, watch, T909 Artifact, pretty neat, little monitor just to take out in the field with you, just to make sure that uh, your video, you're videotaping what you're intending to videotape from your quadcopter, that's its purpose, very portable, uh, very easy to use, uh, I forgot to mention the charger, the charger is just a standard uh, phone charger input, and you plug into the right there, and that's that. So neat little watch. Hope you enjoyed this. Quadcopter 101, signing out.